more than just making the final eight to me. Do you think this is a little personal, Ali? Of course. I mean, Phil's one of the most competitive guys on the circuit. He was heartbroken and disappointed after taking the best of it in last year's match with Durr, and he's looking to exact a little revenge. But all the pressure that he's no doubt putting on himself doesn't seem to have gotten to him so far. He's doing fine in the match. Helmuth was 6'3", suited. He raises to 6,000. Durr with Queen Deuce. This is a new look Phil Helmuth. This is the kind of stuff we haven't seen from him. Durr raises to 15,300. I'm all in. And Phil puts Tom wow. all in. What, what is going on here? That, that's going to work. Is that what Phil meant by a great performance? Stay here, Craig. I'm going outside. I got to check for a full moon. Thumbs up. Back at the feature table, Phil Helmuth with about a two and a half to one chip advantage. An advantage he's arrived at in pretty unorthodox fashion, Craig. King Trey for Durr. He limps in. Helmuth with ace queen. 11 more. Raises to 14,000. And Durr can't believe it, Ali. Seems like Tom might be a little flustered at this point. We saw him raising on the button earlier. That didn't work. Limping on the button now. That's not working. I don't think this is the Phil Helmuth he expected when he arrived today. Conversely, Helmuth calm, cool, and collected, not giving anything away. We knew he was going to take this match seriously. Phil with 9-5. Limps in on the button. Durr with king nine. He checks. And look at that. Tom's not hiding anything there. He just isn't really sure how to deal with Phil. Helmuth pairs his five on the flop. Check, check. Phil makes two pair. Tom makes a pair of nines, though, and unless he's got Phil on an ace or a jack checking in position on the flop, he's got to believe he's got the best hand. Durr bets 4,700. Supposed to call this. Let me just think. Oh, look at Phil. Theatrics. <laughs> Trying to sell weakness. He calls. That's a conservative approach with all the draws out there. Trips for Durr, nines full on the river for Phil. This could be big trouble for Tom Dwan. He's got three nines with a king kicker. Third diamond on the board, however, may slow him up a touch. Durr bets 12,800. That's about a third of his stack. Helmuth is trying his hardest not to do a backflip in his seat right now. Phil puts Dwan all in. Oh, that's tough. Oh, that's tough. This is unfamiliar territory for Tom Dwan. I don't think I can fold. Oof. He's getting three to one on a call that if he makes will end his tournament. I call. He calls. <laughs> Helmy's celebration should tell Durr something. Can I flip it up? Yeah. Phil can't wait to show his cards. And the match is his. Helmuth exacts a measure of revenge for last year. You're, you were the one I was worried about, I gotta tell you. All the matches. And take it down. I know you have so much talent. I was. Everyone else I thought to. Uh, I'll try to take it all the way. Here, say hello to my dad. All right. Hey, I'm Tom. Say hi to Durr, the, the best kid and the best under 30 player in the world, maybe the best all around in the world. Congrats, man. Good day. Tell me with no shortage of flattery post victory, that's for sure. Tom Dwan, gracious in defeat, but it's Helmuth moving into the Elite Eight. The first nine on the turn was the one that got Dwan in trouble, but it was the second one on the river that sealed his fate.